You guys were so excited to share our schoolie bedroom tour with you guys. I know most of the time people do like a full bus tour, but our bedroom's done. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay, so first we have our queen size bed frame that we built on a hydraulic lift. And underneath we have our 100 gallon fresh water tank and all of our plumbing kind of going and coming from that area. We have our water inlet um, from the outside of the bus that kind of channels in through the fresh water tank. And we also have storage underneath there. Um, and we will be putting our diesel heater for the back of the bus underneath the bed as well. And then right on the front of our queen size bed frame area, we kind of built out this really cool honeycomb like front face plate to kind of give a nod to honey, the hive drive, all that good stuff. And this is where the magic happens. I feel like everyone has to do that at one point in time when they're like, welcome to my crib. Um, okay, so we'll start off with our accent wall behind the bed. This is our reclaimed shiplap that someone was just tossing out. It was that gray distress barnwood shiplap, if you remember. And we painted it this kind of ombre sunset color because it's bright, happy, makes us feel great. And then we put the sconce lighting on the back of the accent wall. And what we decided to do instead of hard wiring those in is we wanted to do the LED lights that we can control with a little remote. Um, they pretty much last forever, so it's great. Creates a really nice ambiance lighting um, and we really like it. Another reason that we decided to do the LED lighting instead of hard wiring is so that way these can actually be easily removed in case we ever need to get to the back of the bed, lift the bed fully up, all that stuff. These things are really easy to take out. All right, so onto the bed. We're obsessed with this queen size bed. We decided to go with the Layla Sleep queen size mattress. It's amazing because you have the soft side or firm side. We decided to go with the firm side came in a box, was super easy to install in this tight space, um, and it is so comfortable. We've already taken many naps on this bus and in this bed, super, super comfortable. And again, it had the honeycomb kind of designed throughout, so we had to do it. And then with our bedding and design and decor for this space, we wanted it to have those nods to honey, the hive drive, all that stuff without being too over the top. So of course we have one little bee pillow to give you that nod, but um, we went with a wildflower bedding from Wild and Sage. Really comfortable, lightweight. Um, we also have our Layla Sleep bamboo sheets, which those are really cooling. And then we have a really fun throw blanket that kind of tied in the whole design with the pillows and everything um, that we found at TJ Maxx. And so all in all, the bedding was pretty affordable. We did Wild and Sage for the pillows, um, have a big throw pillow on the back, Wild and Sage for the comforter, Layla Sleep for the sheets, and then our TJ Maxx throw. And before we leave this front space, um, we have a switch right here on this wall and that controls our puck lighting on the top. Um, it's nice because the puck lighting kind of camouflages into the ceiling, but we'll have nice lighting anytime that we want it bright and open back here. And another reason we went with all these bright white and bright sunset colors is we just wanted a warm, happy, inviting space when we settle down for the night. All right, so behind me, we have all of our custom built storage. Um, again, we kind of have some of those honeycomb hardware pieces and then the long gold brassy colored uh, hardware pieces that just make the space a little bit brighter, a little bit more open. We love that. Um, but one thing we always hear about tiny living and we've experienced before just staying in different Airbnbs is needing a place to put all your things. And so we wanted to make sure we gave a lot of attention to the additional storage that we built. So we have three large um, overhead cabinet areas that actually have a lot of storage. They're pretty deep. And then we have the two kind of shelf storage spaces on the side. And then we also have puck lighting underneath that area for our big open window. And the big open window in the back is one of our absolute favorite things. It's one of the dog's favorite parts of this whole bedroom. And we're so excited because the window opens up. So all the spaces that we drive to, just be able to open up that window and take in the views. So down to the nitty gritty with the electrical back here. Um, I mentioned the puck lights and the switch for the puck lights is right back here. We have some outlets and USB chargers. That way if we wanna work from bed, have our laptops, um, get our camera gear charged up, whatever, um, we have that space kind of already designed and thought out in this kind of cabinet area. All right, so before we leave this kind of back cabinet storage area, um, we wanted the accent wall to be the main feature piece in our schoolie bedroom, but we did want to have a little nod to kind of that vibrancy 
with our cabinet trim um, kind of door area. And so we used one of the colors as a trim piece for the overhead cabinets. Okay, so this is one of my favorite parts. It's just a very practical part of the bedroom. And we do plan to install it for our big lookout window in the back, but we have these um, custom cut blackout blinds for our bedroom and it does help cool the space down helps keep out the light and it's on a self like slow roll when you like pull it down and it goes up so it's just cute it's fun <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, this is arguably the most creative part of our schoolie bedroom, is our tuck away hidden TV cabinet area. We custom built this um, just with some strips of wood from Home Depot and an old piece of art from a Bed Bath & Beyond that was closing. And when you open it up, our TV is on an adjustable arm and it pops out and you can kind of swivel it to any position that you want for when you're laying in bed and lounging and watching TV. And then during the day, it can just be popped back in, hidden. Um, we have a space for our remotes there. We have an outlet there and it just makes a lot of sense and we couldn't be more excited about it. So that wraps it up for our bedroom tour. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the pieces, specs, design items, go ahead and leave a comment below. We'll make sure to get back to you. And we're excited to share the rest of the build with you. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next time.